Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the crafting system for 10.2. Incredibly similar to 10.1. To get the Spark of Dreams, which is a crucial item that you'll need to upgrade your uh, crafted items, you're going to need to complete the Worthy Ally quest in the Emerald Dream. Not the weekly quest from Hildraken, the one from the Emerald Dream. In the satchel you'll get a splintered spark of dreams of which you can combine two with 250 flight stones to create a new one. You will get one free from a quest that you'll get from Talia Whisperwind earlier on in the storyline. So you can always grab that as well alongside your weekly one if you haven't done that quest line yet. Now what do you do once you have your spark of dreams? Well when you have your spark of dreams the next key step is upgrading your items. So first you need to be able to craft the item. So you have to have the ability to craft the item yourself. Alternatively, you can provide it to a crafter if you wish to. Uh, but of course, that would defeat the point in watching this video. Once you have the Spark of Dreams, you'll automatically be able to upgrade it to 463 as a max. But to increase it further, you will need crests. Now there's three types of crests. There's two, or well, there's four types of crests. There's two PvE crests, which can be crafted by other crafters who have enchanting skills, and then there are also PvP crests. Remember, you can add finishing reagents and embellishments as well, so it's important to obviously decide and gather all of these before you attempt to upgrade the gear. And remember, the final quality of the item with which you're crafting will determine the max range of its item level, so it's important to have your equipment equipped yourself and obviously to make sure you have your profession knowledge as high as possible. Now to craft your own crests, you will need an enchanter, and that enchanter is going to need to be quite high level. The recipe for these crests can be found in the Emerald Dream. These crest recipes need to be obtained first, and then you need the crest required to actually create the you know embellished crest. So you're going to need to find the recipe first, or buy it off the auction house. Buying it off the auction house is obviously expensive. To obtain the recipe, you will need to farm rares in the Emerald Dream. Now, this is not the six main rares, which pop up on the minimap, but instead rares and elites that you will need to find along the actual world itself. They each have between a 0.5 to 1% drop rate, and there's like 40 of them. So just basically run around killing whatever you can. Alternatively, you can obviously buy the crests, by providing the resources and having someone else craft them for you if you don't want to do it yourself on the enchanter. And then you get the PvP crests, which can only be obtained from the PvP vendors. You get conquest crests, which allow you to max upgrade your gear to 489. And you get the honor conquest medals, which upgrade your item to 476, which is pretty decent. And that's that. That's everything you need to know. Let me know if you need any more help with the crafting system. Otherwise, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye.